Hi there, in our devotion today, I want to take you to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. Paul's letter to Ephesian church, chapter 1. I want to read verses 13 and 14. Let me read it for you. It says, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. This is Paul writing about the benefits of being in Christ Jesus. He says, number one, we were far off, but we are now included. You and I are included into the kingdom of God. We were far off, but we were brought brought near. And Bible says that, and you were also included in Christ. Number two, the blessing, Paul says that when you heard the gospel of truth, or when you heard the word of truth, gospel, the good news was preached to us. Even though we were far off, because God included us and he loved us and he allowed us to hear the gospel. You know, I appreciate all the missionaries and the work that God is doing all over the world and reaching the gospel to the unreached places. And we are included and we heard unless somebody is sent, no one can hear unless Christ is preached, no one can hear. But we heard the gospel, the word of truth, Paul says. So it is a great privilege to know that we are included and we heard the gospel of Jesus. And then he says that when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having believed, you know, you not only were included, you heard the gospel, the good news, But then he says that you believed. You know, we only can believe with the help of the Holy Spirit of God. It is the work of the Holy Spirit of God, whoever heard the gospel, but it is the work of the Holy Spirit of God to make us believe in that truth. So what is the after effect of believing in the gospel or the word of truth? He says that you were marked in him with a seal. So you were included, you heard, and now you believed, and then now you are sealed. What kind of a seal that Paul is talking about here? He says the promised Holy Spirit. Prophet Joel, long time ago, prophesied, In the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all people. And we were included, and that guarantee, that uh, blessing of the promise of the Holy Spirit of God was given to us as a seal. Just like, you know, you write a letter and you give it to the post office and the post office makes a seal, that means it is a property of that post office department. And that is the same way that when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ when we heard the gospel of truth and we were sealed with a seal of the promised Holy Spirit. So in verse 14, Paul continually saying, who is a guarantee or deposit guaranteeing our inheritance? That is the guarantee that we are going to receive an inheritance with the Lord. We are going to be blessed when we meet him face to face. We are going to receive that blessings, that inheritance when we wait for him. He says, until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. So we were included, we heard, and we believed. We were marked with the seal, the promise of the Holy Spirit. And then now we are guaranteed for the inheritance. A day is going to come that we will be included in him permanently. He is the head and we are the body. And we are going to receive all the blessings, 
of Christ in our life. That is what Paul is writing to the Ephesian church. He says that you are blessed because you were included, you heard, and you believed, and you were marked with the seal. And now it is a guarantee that you are going to be blessed. What a great blessing it is that when we wait for him and his coming, then he brings the salvation and we will be saved and set free and will be with him forever. But until then, it is our responsibility to live a life that is pleasing to God day after day. Worship him, honor him and live for him. Loving everybody and loving God is what expected of us from God. And God bless you as you continue to live for him, understanding the blessings that God has blessed us with. Because we were included, we heard, and we believed, we marked with the seal, and we are guaranteed to be blessed. God bless you today.